Hello friends. This is my nearly brand new Honda NC750X, a 2022 model. I just picked it up this past uh, Saturday and today is Friday, mid-February 2022. Take it out for a little ride today. Take a little video while I'm going and maybe add some comments when I get back. See you on the road. So why did I get this Honda? The short answer is that my BMW made me do it. By my BMW, I mean the uh, 2021 BMW F900R that I bought in November of 2020. Before that, I had a 2017 Yamaha FJ09 that I bought in June of 2017. I had thought that the BMW would be the perfect naked and sporty complement to the Yamaha, but I discovered that I always wanted to ride the BMW and felt guilty about neglecting the Yamaha. Why did I prefer the BMW? I'm 78 years old now, and with my advancing age, mounting and dismounting the Yamaha has become increasingly difficult, so much so that mounting from the right via the foot peg has become the only option. Getting on and off the BMW, on the other hand, is easy. Fueling on the Yamaha can only be described as twitchy, even in rain mode by default. Fueling on the BMW, by contrast, is buttery smooth and perfectly predictable, even in dynamic pro mode, which is my default. The Yamaha is fun to ride, except for the fueling, but the BMW is even more fun. What's not to love about the BMW? The cost of service. For the 600 mile first service, for example, it was $355 for the BMW and only $153 for the Yamaha. And it will be $165 for the Honda. It's also impossible to get a shop manual for the BMW, but easy for the Yamaha and the Honda. So it's easy to do routine maintenance myself on either of the other two bikes. So what do I want? I want good fueling. I want it to be easy to get on and off of and comfortable while riding. I want it to be fun to ride. And I want it to be inexpensive to maintain with the option of doing a lot of the routine stuff myself. And I would like to have one bike that does it all. After months of research about the Honda NC750X, I decided that it might be the one bike that in fact does it all. Since I knew that the Yamaha could not be that one bike, I traded it for the Honda. So far, I find myself actually preferring to ride the Honda. And if this persists, uh, my plan is to eventually sell the BMW and suffer no more inner conflict. Just look at that amazing sky.
Thanks, friends, for sharing this ride.